Hey guys, today I'm gonna to try these uh, Casa Mamita uh, bean and cheese burritos. There's eight burritos in the package. We got these at Aldi. They were only $2.75 for eight burritos. So that's not too hard, too off of that at all. Um, like I said, just bean and cheese. It says it's medium heat. Um, each burrito is 240 calories for 113 grams. And here's your other info. Hopefully you can see that. So to heat these up, pull this around. Um, you can do it in a conventional oven, or you can probably do it in a toaster oven in the same same directions. But you can preheat oven to 375, remove burrito 30 to 40 minutes. Wow, that's a long time. Um, or we can do the microwave, which is what we're going to do. We're going to remove the burrito from the wrap and place place on a plate. Cook on full power. These are frozen. So we're going to do 40 seconds turn over and cook for an additional 40. So 40 and 40. If they're thawed, you do 30 and 40. So you're only, you're only gaining 10 seconds from the thawing. I guess you could just throw them in the refrigerator or whatever. Um, microwave cooking times vary, of course. These don't say anything about wrapping them. So so literally, you just put them on the plate. Sometimes the burritos will say, um, you know, wrap them in a paper towel. Or um, I've had really good success wrapping them in uh, parchment paper. So let's see how big these are. I just get one. They're frozen together. Of course they are. Yeah, so there's the size. Typical burrito size. <laughs> Drop and slid under the camera. Um, typical burrito size, about the size of your hand. So I'm going to get one of these in the microwave, and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I always hate it when it gets really wet, and this gets a little soggy looking. Ugh, looks gross. Um, so anyway, let's cut this in half. Normally I wouldn't. Well, normally I will cut these in half. Just see what they look like on the inside. Full of uh, bean. I don't know if that's hot. Yeah, it's warming. It's not like scalding hot, but it's warm enough. So uh, I'm going to uh, take us over the table and I'll be back. I normally wouldn't eat with a fork, but I'm going to eat it with a fork because I cut it. And it makes it a little harder to eat. So here's, I just cut it in pieces. So here we go. Tortilla has a good flavor and texture. Um, it's soft, not doughy. You do have to kind of move it around on the plate though because if you just let it sit in the moisture that generates while it's cooking, um, it tends to sit in water. You don't, you want to move it away. Um, also, if they're thawed, they may not have as much of that water um, when you cook them. Or if you're doing the oven, of course, you're not going to have that issue either. Um, actually, in the oven, it may crisp up a little bit on the outside. I hadn't thought about that. Um, it's good. The flavors are kind of mild. Truth be told, the only flavor I really get is bean. Um, I really don't get any cheese flavor at all. It tastes more like a, it's not even as flavorful as like refried beans. It's literally just like pinto beans uh, wrapped in a tortilla. This one's okay. It's really, really plain. I wish they'd put in some uh, seasoning in there, or some spices or the cheese to add more flavor. It's very, very plain. I don't think it's horrible, but it's not even an average meal. It's, just, it's a below average as far as flavor goes. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Um, Two just being, it's not horrible, and you can eat them and they're cheap, uh, but they're not a great flavor. You'd have to add some sauce or something on top of these just to spice them up a bit because they're very, very plain. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.